so this was the most requested video on our channel that was our apartment tour so we have just reached our apartment building we are going upstairs we will give you a walk through of our apartment show you all the rooms what kind of amenities will be available in the apartment building so check this out and this will also give you an idea of how the buildings and apartments look like in canada so do watch the video till end so follow us so first and foremost step is having access to the building so you need this which is a fob to access the building which is very good because any unauthorized person will not have access to the building and you will feel safe and obviously your guests will not have this fob so for that you will give them a code for your room they will enter this code here you will receive a call on your phone you will press 9 or 1 whatever is configured for your building and the door will be open this is also for security reasons so that you can give access to your guests your friends which is really good and sometimes if i forget the fob i just enter my code receive the call on my phone and unlock the door so that is also helpful. and ensure that your phone's battery is charged otherwise, otherwise you will stand on the road you will have to sleep on the road <laughs> okay let's go So our apartment is on 11th floor, which is very good. Yeah. Because we get a very good view, which we will show you in a minute. You might have checked our Instagram post, like yeah. keep clicking a lot of photos from there. So we'll show you where we actually click the photos today. Yeah. If you're following us on Instagram, you will be able to see all those amazing pictures. So do follow us. Yeah. So wait, when we were thinking of making this video. We plan that we will make your entry to our house very special. Your your entry. Yeah, you are special to us. So let me go in first. Okay. You wait. Bus bus. Very dramatic. हो गया. Welcome to our house. So as soon as you enter a house in Canada the first and foremost step is to remove your shoes so you will see something like this or in some places they have racks designated to keep your shoes so you have to remove your shoes if you are from Gujarat you would really love it because in Gujarat people love keeping their shoes outside their house you should remove and your shoes and you will have to do the cleaning in the room you don't have any house help so you will make sure if you are spoiled like me that you were never removing your shoe before entering the house so you will also start removing your shoes yeah this is really good practice here yeah so let's remove our shoes and we always wear a leader shoes those are very comfortable the link is in the description make sure that you are buying these shoes for walking or running so this is the area to keep your shoes and jackets let me show you So we have kept a shoe rack here. As you can see, we are just two people, and look at the number of shoes, because he is fond of wearing a lot of shoes. So we had to buy a shoe rack for him. So we have kept few hangers where guests can also keep their jackets. Because in winters the house will already be heated, so you don't need to wear jackets. Anyone who will enter the house or apartment, they will remove their jackets as well, so they will need some place to hang their jackets. This is the area which will always be there in your apartment, condo, or house, which you can use for that. And on the left hand side, we have a small storage area. It's a bit messed up. but we normally keep our cleaning stuff here and anything that's that doesn't fit in any other room so we just keep it here let's enter the heart of the home now so why i coded this was because of this sticker we actually mean it kitchen is the heart of the home which is so true for the people like us who are very foodie right yeah so this is our small kitchen we have a burner which is a coil burner and we have a oven with this that is provided by the building management then we have lot of space here to keep our utensils and other stuff and the fridge is provided by the building management and this is our favorite air fryer 
we eat a lot so we try and balance out the calories by using this if you are thinking of buying a air fryer we would highly recommend going for magic chef air fryer link is in the description like india or any other country we don't have a separate option for drinking water we just have a hot and a cold water option here so this one is normally used for washing utensils as well as for drinking water in winters when it's really cold outside you really need hot water so that's the best quality about canada that most of the apartments and homes will have a 24 hours running hot water in canada's water is so clean that you can drink it direct from the tap so that is another thing you don't have to worry about germs and all so there will be a lot of difference between an, an apartment and a condo or a house in most of the apartment you will not find a dishwasher so i will have to clean all the dishes right so he's the one who cleans the dishes and i make the food most of the time and if you will go for a condo you will have all the amenities you will have centralized air conditioning you will have dishwasher you will have laundry in your room but there are some advantages of apartment which we will be telling you in this video and there are some disadvantages as well like we don't have dishwasher in a condo you will have a dishwasher and you also get a fridge from the building management so you don't have to buy a fridge whether it's an apartment or a condo as you must have noticed that wherever we go we try and get a fridge magnet from that place so here is our earning from last one year so whatever usage we do on this burner it comes in our hydro bell and there's one more thing to note here is that you have to ensure that you don't cook anything that brings a lot of smoke because there are smoke detectors in the house and if they go off it will give a signal to the fire brigade and the fire brigade will be at your house so ensure that you are not cooking a lot of parathas and rajma chawal so be mindful of that and that is one disadvantage of an apartment because if you are living in a condo most of the time the hydro or electricity bill will be included in your rent but in an apartment building you will have to pay that separately for us it's approximately 40 to 50 dollars every month and this is our small puja place in the kitchen so this was a small kitchen walkthrough now let's go to the other sections of the house this is our dining area you must be able to recognize this because we make a lot of videos sitting on these chairs and if you don't have a habit of having dinner lunch or your meals on the dining table you will have to make that habit because you cannot afford to litter on the couch or on the bed because you will have to clean it no one there will be no kamwali by yeah so you will have to have dinner on the dining table you don't want to do a lot of litter in the house because you will be the one cleaning it so by now you must have guessed that there are a lot of stickers in our house so he's the guy behind all this stuff he loves decorating the house so he keeps ordering something or the other online and you can see that in our house so now let's go to the living area of our house so this was the place from where we started so we have two entrances one goes to the kitchen and the other one goes to the living area whosoever comes to our house the first thing they notice is this and of course this was my idea to decorate the house and this is the most talked about decoration of our house whosoever will enter our apartment will always ask about this and they get very excited and they just want to check whether it actually works but yes this tells you the exact actual time so this is very fascinating for them so this is our living area the couch you will find us sitting here most of the times this is a place where we edit our videos as well so this is a sofa come bed couch so in case we have guests coming to our place we do have an option to sleep on the couch because it's a sofa come bed and these are our changu mangus you must have seen them in a lot of our instagram stories so they sit here so when we are not making videos this is what we are doing trying to decorate our house as much as we can and this is some creativity that we both did together so this was the living area there is dining area and now the best part about apartment is the view from the balcony which was the most fascinating part for us that's why we have taken this apartment and we had to request the building management a lot because we were new we did not have the credit history so we had to request them a lot and we did not want to go for any other building we only wanted this view so quickly let's have a look 
so as you can notice there is a lake so this apartment is on the lake shore and the benefit of having an apartment on the 11th floor is that you get a lake shore view and the skyline view of downtown toronto i'm not sure whether you will be able to see or not but we can see cn tower and the skyline of downtown toronto from our apartment so this is a place where we spend our evening mostly we do sit out here and we have our cup of coffee sitting here so again like you will see that on our lot of instagram post like we keep posting something or the other from here so this is our favorite corner of the house let's go in and check out the rest of the house now this is another best part that everyone likes is the silver play button that we got from youtube you will see the q and a video very soon because that will be uploaded next or next to next week but this is the most fascinating thing for whoever visits our house our friends and guests they also ask about this that how come we got it and the reason is it is all because of your support and love keep supporting us keep loving us keep liking the video so we will make sure that we will keep giving you all the relevant information and some entertaining videos like this as you can see we have lot of stuff here so we have fond memories with all these things this is again some creativity done by him if you look at this candle it serves two purposes it looks good in the home it is a scented candle and the second benefit for this is that whenever we do cooking especially indian cooking so there's lot of smell in the house so these candles really help in soaking that smell and it keeps the house fragrant all the time so whenever you move here ensure that you buy a lot of scented candles these really help and as you know that we are fond of tea so we got these tea cups especially from india so these were one of the items that were in our luggage when we were moving here and thankfully they are still in good condition they didn't break and as the coach says life is beautiful so life is really beautiful for us in canada we are loving each bit of it and we try and share whatever new things we learn here so keep supporting us and you must have noticed our names as well on the cups so a lot of you were asking us what are our names so you can check out in the mugs or there will be a q and a video coming very soon next week or next to next weeks you will know our names in that video and no much more information about us let's continue with the apartment tour now it's time for you to enter in our bedroom you are part of our life you can enter in our bedroom let's go there yeah <laughs> so this is our bedroom and so this is a dresser that we got from ikea and if you know ikea has most of the stuff that is diy so our very own mr harmeet did all the work and he took i think 4 to 5 hours to make this and especially when he was doing this for the first time so kudos to you and yes canada teaches you a lot this was one of the first diy project that i completed and a person like me who never even lift a drill or a plas in his life was able to do this canada teaches you a lot and of course you will have to do everything by your own so the sooner you learn everything the better it will be for you as you can see we have really big windows in our bedroom so we had to buy these blackout curtains because it gets really bright in morning and nobody wants to get up as early as 6 am in morning especially on a weekend so we bought these blackout curtains so one of the benefit in these kind of apartment is that a lot of light coming in the bedroom or the living area so it will not be very depressing you will have light coming in it will always be energizing and very lively and another thing you must have noticed is that we have a indoor air conditioner so you must be surprised that in canada we need a air conditioner yes even right now i'm sweating little bit so in canada as well the temperature goes as high as 40 degrees and the humidity is also a lot so you won't be able to survive if you are in an apartment where you don't have centralized air conditioner and you don't have a indoor portable ac or a window ac so we had to buy this now that we talked about air conditioners let me show you how the centralized heating works here so if you notice like we have these vents so these are quite old because this is a old building but normally you will see something similar in other 
apartments or condos so this is a place from where heat comes in and it keeps you warm in winter so that will really comfort you so whenever you plan to buy curtains for your home in canada ensure that your curtains are not long enough that they cover these vents because we did this mistake and we had to end up folding the curtains that was a really big task so that's a learning for you guys another advantage of having an apartment in a very old building is that you will have a very very big room rooms like this one if you go for a very brand new condo you will not get big rooms like this the rooms will be very small and the rent will be very high for this whole apartment this is a one bedroom apartment the rent is $1450 and extra we pay for the hydro or electricity which is around $50 and $60 for the parking whereas if you will go for a condo building you will end up paying $2000 to $2100 for a very small single room if you are in the downtown area it is your personal choice you want to go for apartment or you want to go for a condo we have already discussed all the differences between both of them and yes there's one more sticker here <laughs> So when we will vacate this apartment, we'll have to do a lot of work, I'm sure. That reminds me of other thing, which is you cannot do a lot of modification in your apartment building. You cannot drill a lot of holes in the wall or do some modification, repaint them. So you will always have to take permission from the building management. That's why you will see a lot of stickers, but I haven't put a lot of paintings and all on the walls because then I will have to drill in the wall which is not allowed. So in Canada, you will have direct switches. You will not have separate on and off buttons. As soon as you plug in any electronic device, it will be on. So you need to take care of that as well. Now let's move to another section of the house, which is really close to my heart because it gives me a lot of storage space, which is a walk-in closet. You will see it's a bit messed up, but it gives me a lot of option to hang clothes and put a lot of stuff. This is not very common in a lot of new apartments and condos. So we were lucky that we got this in our apartment. It gave us a lot of storage space. As you can see that we are using this walk-in closet not only for clothes, but for placing other unused items as well. So it, this is very helpful. The walk-in closet is very huge and this is very helpful. Another benefit of having an apartment over a condo. This is another storage space for us where we keep our camera and all the gadgets. And this was the thing that we were talking about, which is a smoke detector. So if there is a lot of smoke in the house, maybe because of cooking or if somebody is smoking in the house, this will start beeping and it sends a notification to the fire brigade and you will see fire brigade here in 10 to 15 minutes. So ensure that you are not doing any such activity in the house that makes this go off. Let's enter into my favorite room, bathroom, <laughs> because I spend a lot of time in the bathroom posting things on social media and replying to your questions on Facebook pages. As you can see, you will have a small wash basin and you will have a lot of storage space in the... This reminds me of this very amazing gadget. This helps you whiten your teeth. This is Snow White. You can also power it by your phone. Very handy. We always use it. You should buy it. Link is in the description. Now I am going to show you the most useful gadget which every Indian or South Asian will miss when they go to any foreign country, US or Canada, which is the water jet. Don't sprinkle it here. <laughs> I think it is always hygienic to use a water jet instead of a toilet paper. So even most of the people from other countries like US, UK are also switching to a water jet. It is not very costly. It will cost you $50, $60 and it is very easy to install as well. It took me only five minutes to install. You can go on Amazon or go to Home Depot, buy it. I will stop talking about this, but <laughs> this is one gadget you should have it in your washroom. This video is for a home tour and not for installing jet. But this is a helpful gadget, so you should go for it. So another amazing thing that you will notice in Canadian homes is this. A bathtub. I know in Asian countries it is not very common and it is considered as a luxury. But in Canada, you will see this tub installed in every home. You will feel the luxury and it also saves a lot of time in terms of cleaning the floor. And as mentioned, you will have hot water 24 hours. And the most frustrating thing about this thing is you will not find a perfect balance of hot and cold water. You will end up spending 30 to 
90 seconds to find a perfect balance. Sometimes it's too cold, sometimes it's very hot. If you face the same issue, please comment down below because that frustrates me a lot. Now time to move out from the bathroom. Another expense along with hydro and your rent will be the internet bill, which will be around 30 to $40. So it will be rent plus hydro plus parking plus your internet bill and the laundry as well, because laundry is common. It will be common in an apartment building. So let's go and see the laundry room. You will have some more idea about it. So this is our laundry and again, you'll have to use a fob for all the security reasons that someone doesn't steal your clothes. This is how the laundry room looks like. Over here you have the washers and that side is all the dryers. So this is the card that you need to use to access the laundry. Again, you have to recharge this card. That's what we were talking about that this is again paid. So that's the charging machine where you can charge this card. So you need two dollars to wash the clothes. Like you can see here and two dollars to use the washer so i normally use two rounds of load so it's like approximate ten dollars every week so that's additional to your normal rent your parking your hydro so this is additional cost which is around fifty dollars approximately in a month to wash your clothes now entering the parking, underground parking, and let me show you. We'll use the same fob which we used to enter in the building. You will have your dedicated parking. For example, we have our spot number 31. You don't have to fight for parking, which is a usual thing in crowded cities like Mumbai, Delhi. Now this is the underground parking and another benefit is that you don't have to clean the snow in winter because it is underground. There won't be any snow on your car. You can just go in the parking, start your car and start driving. Another good thing about apartments is that you don't really have to go downstairs to throw your garbage. You have rooms like these where there's a section where you can, there's already some stuff in there, where you can put your stuff and it goes directly through the tunnel. So this is really convenient, especially in winters, that you don't really have to go 10 floors down to throw your garbage. This facility is not available in homes. So that was our apartment tour. I hope you liked the apartment and the information that we shared. Do let us know what was the best thing you liked about our apartment. Don't forget to like, share this video with your friends and comment down below so that we can respond to you. And let us know how different did you find the apartment from what it is in your home country. So till next time, stick, stick around. around.